yesterday. I have no chance. I'm too weird. Times like once a month to talk to me or something, you know, but this is so fun. Let me start from the top. A lot of you may or may not know. Greetings. <laughs> that he's such, he's so fucking cute. He's like the cute. He's the cutest guy I think that's ever like everything he says here is like really. It's just so mature. Where? Please tell me where in God's on God's not so green earth. Thank you, global warming. Where on this planet does a guy like that exist? Slide into any DMs like, and also too, I feel like I'm too much of a weirdo like to. Oh, I mean, clearly, I have to, like, hold my nose open and breathe. Glitching, you can hear me. Okay, we good. We good. We good. I'm very anti-love. Like, I just don't... I don't feel love, I just feel numb. I just I don't feel numb. I'm starting to question, like, if I'm a fuck boy. I'm not a fuck boy. That's not what's going on. It's just, I think, like, I don't... It, it, I think people are very distracting and their liabilities and you can't trust them. But for some reason, as much as I'm, like, fuck love, like, legitimately, like, fuck love. I did end up, like, watching The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, okay? Every single guy was like, no, no, mm, I feel like you're a clout goblin, you're a fuck boy. I ended up being right, and she, you know, they f they fell off in the chocolate factory one by one, you know, and, but the season finale was yesterday, and, like, I was, I was too scared to watch it, so I waited a day, like, can you believe this? And I kind of wanted to make a video on this, because... I'm heartbroken and I wasn't even on the damn show you know what I'm saying like let me pull up a picture okay let me just show you and I like that the bachelor franchise isn't just like using boring basic ass fucking Becky Clayton Chad mother <coughs> like I'm glad they have other kind of people on there now and like it took it took a long time but last night it was between bro let me just I'm gonna pull up a picture okay you'll see you'll see I think Michelle honestly fell for a trap okay i think michelle fell for a trap okay and damn it i thought she was smarter than that and hopefully i'm wrong because i don't want her to get hurt i just saw the way that the one treated her and the way that the other one was just genuinely and i said uh-oh this is an obvious fucking choice like and she ultimately ended up picking in my opinion but you know what it's not me it's her like this is her story this is who she loves this is not about me this is not about who we think she should date it's who she wants to date obviously but i just feel like she went with the wrong person like i i fucking hate that but like i really am worried oh my god i'm fucking neurotic but but here's why here's what i think happened okay and nobody wants to say this oh my god okay first of all i'm gonna show you a picture of who she picked Okay, and then I'm going to show you a picture of who she should have picked. Okay, all right, here we go. And I, you're not going to be able to see this right away, so bear with me. Who she picked, by the way, very fucking sexy. Let me just wheel it. Let me wheelhouse this over here. All right, so this is him. Okay, he has these amazing eyes. Like, dude, he's hot. He's like six foot, like infinity. Okay. Which doesn't matter, right? I'm 4'11". I don't care. She is tall, though. Here we go. This is him. Can we see this? Do we see... Hold on. Do we see... Do we see him? Do I have to move him up? Wait. You guys taught me well. Hold on. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I hit fit to screen, motherfucker. I don't know what... You can see him. I'm trying... I'm going to try to move, move him over. Move him around. Oh, Lord. Get... Oh, Lord. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? come to me baby come to me baby oh now he's too zoomed in okay but he's so beautiful he's so beautiful see you we see you bro bro yeah fuck it we you know you're getting the vibe here I'm, I'm gonna scroll through some more pictures here he's like six foot seven damn are we seeing this 
he didn't like i mean he obviously switched up a little but you know what i appreciate his st his sense of style and his fashion like i do i really appreciate it i think he's gorgeous but if you saw the way he acted on the show you wouldn't really be impressed he's a very sweet guy don't get me wrong but in my humble opinion where are you in my humble opinion i feel like a lot of his answers were very vague and like almost sound recited answers like a lot of his answers were very genetic or genetic generic <laughs> Gen didn't have that feeling or warmth or like authenticity behind it like everything he was saying kind of just felt like it was he was saying what he was supposed to be saying to michelle hey oh oh it's all good it's all good i'm talking about the bachelor because what what had happened was um hold on let me take a breath here oxygen what happened was this is obviously the guy that won nate here's me Nate, okay. The guy that, in my opinion, I felt like he was perfect for Michelle. He was her best friend. He would have did everything for her, put her first. They had a better connection. She smiled more when she was around him. Her kid, like, dude, like, she's picking Brandon. I was like, she's definitely going to pick Brandon. I was I was rooting for him the whole time. Brandon. I don't know. I just felt like that he was, like, better better guy more honest more sweet loving authentic i don't know but it can't dude i i wish you guys could have you would have seen how just awful this was because i've never seen a man more heartbroken in my life because she ended up picking nate and i don't i hate to say this but it's like she had to get she had to force him to be ready to be married and engaged why because he's tall he has beautiful eyes and he has a dangling fucking earring. This is the thing, right? If you have your nose pierced and a dangling earring, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done. Like, and I know I'm hypocritical because I'm very into fashion and looking weird. But that dangling earring is fucking trouble. Oh my God. Okay. It is the dangling fucking earring. Anyways, here we go. No, not the island boys. Get the hell out of here. So the end i god i'm just gonna show you this she doesn't pick brandon who in my opinion is fucking sexy and just like the sweetest guy super nerdy like charming just makes you laugh warm won't judge you i thought that that was her guy for real and like i've never been so blindsided in my life i don't give a fuck about love but i'm over here crying watching the bachelorette like strange you know Look at this texture. Oh my god, I can't right now. I swear this thing. thing. Damn it, motherfucker, I swear. Because I know there's a lot. We'll fix the screen. I, I did what you guys told me to do. I did fit the screen. Speaking of island boys, oh my god. Yo, okay, see, this is what I mean. If one of the island boys showed up on the show, they'd get picked. Why? Face tattoos, dangling earring, interesting hair. Like, is this where we're, we're at right now? I don't know. I never watched The Bachelor, but it's... Oh, it's really entertaining. Uh, Anyways, yeah. this is Brandon. This is who she didn't pick. This is who Michelle did not pick. And look, Brandon... I'm going to post this somewhere, okay? I'm going to post this somewhere. If you're out there, I think you're the best. Um, you're a dime. I would have picked you. Um, but, I don't know. This is, this is me. But here we go happen or didn't show yeah so now he wanted to get closure okay so this is like after the final rose he's like girl what the fuck happened why didn't you pick me because like even michelle's mom was like i don't think nate is ready for marriage i don't get that warmth from him i don't feel he's genuine you know your family's opinion matters especially hers she's like my family's opinion means everything but she like blatantly disregarded her mother and we were all thinking that and granted they don't show everything on the show like as this whole story unfolds you yeah. see that when you are giving 100 percent, like i said i was going to from the very beginning it's very possible and it's hard because of that and as these days were winding down and as i shared my thoughts and feelings with you 
those were my true, honest thoughts and feelings. Um, I cared, and I do care about your feelings. I care about you as a person. Yo, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, this video definitely hit better last night. It definitely slapped last night. Now I'm watching it, and all I'm hearing is blah, 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 feelings, blah, 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 feelings. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, it did. Yesterday it made sense. Today it's not making sense. I don't know. I'm gonna keep watching it though. My decision to share that I was in love with you, um, I wasn't sharing that because I already had made a decision. I was sharing that because it was something that I had been holding back. And because I didn't think I was capable of falling in love with two people, it was really hard for me to honestly come out and talk about that because it's scary and you're dating in the public eye and there's all these different things and you know you do you see people get ridic ridiculed for falling in love with two people mm -hmm. and which is I, very possible to fall in love with two people which it is and it's not an easy thing um to be in this position but i had asked you guys to be completely honest and vulnerable with me the entire time and that is something that you gave to me from the very start and that's why my feelings could get to that point and I wanted to be completely honest with where I was at, and that was that I was in love with you. And saying that, it was hard at that time, because it's scary. Yeah. Um, and it's scary with also knowing that you might have to break somebody's heart with who you said you love you. I love you too, and that's not easy either. Yeah. He gave her everything, and she's, he's like, why didn't you pick me, you know? Like, I just need some kind of closure. And he handled it so well because, you know, essentially, yeah, like, you can fall in love with two people. And at the end of the day, it's not because he did anything wrong. Obviously, it's just because, you know, her heart was pointing in that direction. And that's maybe who she's supposed to be with. Although, they were so fucking good together. Like, I, out of any time I've ever watched this fucking show, I've never felt this, like, shocked, beside myself heartbroken i literally filmed like a reaction video i was fucking crying if they have it on here but this poor man um by the way like he's so fucking attractive like he is he's really attractive his eyes are like insanely beautiful um he has hazel eyes hazel eyes hey i have hazel eyes too but his are way prettier than mine yeah i just have big muppet eyes but his eyes are like woo. and yeah because you know I mean, I had a pre going home, I wasn't okay, you know, like, thank God for, you know, everyone, but, um, I just, you know, prepared myself watching it, because I knew, like, I was going to have to watch it, I was going to have to face you at some point, and, um, I mean, honestly, I thank you, just because I've never been that vulnerable in a relationship in my entire life. I don't know, it's, I, in a way, like, on the other side, like, I felt like a little bit my love was overlooked. Um, but also, I didn't know the full story. You know, I only knew my portion. Of it. Bingo! Yeah, I mean, that last day was tough. And, I mean, I knew you were going to break my heart. Because, unfortunately with you, I knew that you show your emotions through your eyes. Everything you do, you show it through your eyes. And when I walked up, I saw that, of course, your heart was pointing in a different direction. And with the B and everything, that didn't make it <laughs> any easier. Um, the whole B thing. Um, so, and I guess I had a, uh, what was it called? The bloodbath or uh, you guys call it um, mental all. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so they did the bloopers and I got attacked by a B on the one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I'm terrified of Bs. I got attacked by one. And... I'm sitting there talking to Michelle, holding her hand, and, you know, she's telling me her heart's going in a different direction, and out of nowhere, man, this bee comes up and lands on both of our hands. At the, at the proposal yeah, for now? Yeah, we look down and we looked at each other like, yo, that, like, what are the chances? But, yeah, I just, you know, at the end of the day, I do wish you the best, and I wish you guys a happy, happy. So I've never even seen somebody that mature and handle anything 
a breakup like that so positively like he was like i care about her i want her to be happy if she doesn't pick me that's okay i genuinely care about her and love her and want her to be okay and happy where please tell me where in god's on god's not so green or thank you global warming where on this planet does a guy like that exist just want you to be happy why because i don't really give a fuck he like genuinely i've never seen anybody give a fuck more than brandon um god i think he's probably one of the best guys to ever swoop through that fucking atmosphere and that's why me and everybody else this was the most shocking fucking ending to the bachelorette for like so many people because everyone was like nate with the dangling earring in the in the he he kind of dude i'll show you his walk but he kind of walks like he has to shit his pants all the time i don't know and like look this is with peace and love nate is obviously gorgeous as fuck and i'm sure he's a very sweet guy but i don't think he's like in it for the long run he's kind of like yeah we'll see you know and she's very michelle is very like look i'm getting married and that was her goal so why would you pick somebody that's like not necessarily on the same page it was like she had to get him on that page and like you know what yeah that's what relationships are in the real world is a lot of the time you have to like get you know it's not easy and it's it's real but i just felt like this was her this was her guy i don't know maybe not though my guy happy life together and yeah you know just Ooh. At the end of the day, I do wish you the best. And I wish you guys a happy, happy life together. And okay, I hope, I'm hope i hoping you can still hear me because I don't like any echo. Um, even on here, dude, he's like so... I don't know, I, I just love this guy. He's younger than... He's like 27, but more mature than like any... anyone I know. Can I just, and I don't want you to answer right away. I want you to think about it for a second. Okay. Like, okay. are you still hurting a little bit? You can take a drink before you answer. <laughs> uh, yes and no. If that makes sense. So, yes. Because he, yes right? and no. A little bit. Uh, so, I think, you know. Hurting less, but maybe still healing. Yeah. So, I watched the episode before it, you know, I walked out on stage and I saw everything going on. And I think. It was less hurting. It was more. How do I put these? It was more. Ah, I thought I'd get clarity. Like I had the parents love me. I had a great from time with AFR the parents tonight. From no, no, from uh, the last episode. Because I'm watching this as I know I didn't win, so I'm looking at Nate and I'm seeing like, you know, their connection. I'm seeing you know everything going uh, on and how that all built up and. So that was hard for you to watch. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, a little bit because yeah. you know I'm getting, I'm trying to get clarity on why she chose him, and so I yeah. understand that you know you chose him. Your heart wants what the heart wants. You can't, you can't. Can I offer you some advice now? Hearing what you have to say, you gotta let it go. You gotta yeah. let the TV aspect go. Yeah. Well, you know, because if I'm hearing you right, yeah, is that you bonded with Michelle's parents, and then when you watched it back. You saw that bond. You were reminded of that bond. Like kind of like I mentioned, I was yeah. like, I, you know, you, you, you go through this experience, we get heartbroken, and then you take some time, then you, you watch it back, and you're like, fuck, I get to like, I have to watch this fucking shit back. I don't even have to remember it. And you're like, wait, that was fucking real. I, yeah. What I remember, I'm not delusional. I'm not fucking crazy, not, right? Yeah, because in real life, like, you don't get to look back at you it like that. You don't get to watch, don't yeah. even look back. See, you that's know? the most beautiful thing. And then they add a soundtrack in, it's like, it's even more beautiful than I remember. <laughs> you know, you connect with Michelle's parents, right? And then you're like, all right, maybe I'll see something more with Nate, with Nate that I didn't get to see. And yet, here we are... Michelle's, the, Michelle's mom's like, I don't know, like maybe he's a fork boy. You know what? You know what I'm saying? You're just like, yeah, maybe he's a fork boy, but I'm not. And that was hard for you to watch. Uh, I think, yeah, the, uh, the big no, nah, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. The, what was it? Then? You know, honestly, the hardest thing to watch was seeing how truly happy I was, and how so in love I was with her. You should not have watched the show for clarity. It was never going to give you the clarity you wanted. Yeah, so it will you know, only bring you back to that moment because. You know, it's a show, right? Yeah. And they want the people who are get to watch your journey unfold to feel as close as what you felt. Yeah. Right? That's and, why I understood, yeah. like, there's so much that happens off camera. They always, it's down to, like, two guys at the very end. And that's 
the day that they're both one's going to propose and she's going to say no and one's going to propose and she's going to say yeah parents pick me up you know my, they're giving me advice they asking me what happened they also obviously knew like i went to the end without having to say months um i broke down cried in front of them and i was like yeah like i really thought it was it um her meeting my family they thought it was it too man they they really do they really do a good job yes yeah, so they wait, let me read this it's about actions not like sex stuff but like what she's used to seeing her parents do that's what i don't get okay because he literally brandon the guy she didn't pick she even said like you remind me of my dad like and her mom even said like it, it made sense like she wanted what her parents had well that's what her and brandon had and granted look i'm not her i'm not in her head it's not my decision what makes her happy what it makes her happy but that's what i don't get because like she used her parents as an example of what good love is like because her parents were best friends best friends like that's a good that's an important part and her and brandon were like that like they were best friends and in every single way he was there for her with his actions and like nate just was like it seemed like he was just hanging out you know what's up yeah i want to be with you okay like that's just how it seemed to me and i think that's kind of how it seemed to a lot of people uh, I, we'll see what happens i don't know damn i don't even want to watch this again but I truly really believe that you're the missing piece that I've been searching for my entire life. That I don't want to spend another second without you. I don't want to walk another day without you. I don't want to wake up another morning without you. Yo, the fucking sound quality on this is not... It's not like how it was on the show. They actually, like, I'm trying to find, like, some kind of video that, like, compares the two. Or, not compares the two, but, like, I guess YouTube is really strict about, or The Bachelor is, about not letting, like, like little clips of it get out. Like, I really could pull up the show now on Hulu and stream it. I'm sure I could. I don't want to get in trouble. But when I, oh, my God, dude. I, he rolled up first so i knew that she wasn't going to pick him because the first guy that shows up literally is typically is the one that gets dumped and then the last guy that comes in it's like you i'm gonna read this this is a guy's perspective her parents are a baseline for love language whether she wants what they had is a different question but maybe it was too familiar and she wanted something else that's yeah yeah probably there could be problems behind the scenes between her and her family that made some of the things he did seem like red flags not to say they are but for her maybe it told more than he could ever actually say interesting yeah because like if anything nate the guy she picked like michelle even said it herself she was like oh damn this is peaking michelle even said it herself she was like red flags nate gives like right red flags nate like you're giving me red flags michelle specifically said sh like many fucking times that she did want something like what her parents had she wanted a best friend that's why this is so i'm not joking this is the most confused i think this is why we don't pick the guy with the dangling fucking earring I mean, you, anybody can wear a dangling earring, but you get what I'm saying. Like, this is why we pick the guy that's, like, not, that doesn't show you red flags. I don't know. It, I've learned to not, I've learned to seriously, like, I force myself to not go with guys that continually give me red flags. Like, I'm, I'm not even talking to, like, anybody right now. I'm not, like, dating at all. Like, I'm not. I'm just trying to do me and get better. But anytime... I end up, like, I guess if somebody, like, shows me or does says something that's, like, no. My reaction in that I'm, like, I'm, like, okay, no. I feel like if anything that might make them, like, wake up and maybe change more than, like, trying to change them. 
keeping a distance and like not putting up with it would actually have more of a, a, a like a better effect than to like sit around put up with that and try and fucking change them like as people like this goes for both genders you know obviously but it's just that what I feel. Oh my God. It came out yesterday. I truly wish you nothing but happiness. I truly mean that. Hey! <laughs> yo! Yo, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Guys, I've never been more stumped over the ending of, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I don't give a shit about love. I don't know if I ever want to get married or have kids. If I have a kid, I don't know if I want to be married. If I'm married, I don't know if I want to have a kid. I'm really like, I don't know when I became, actually I do know when I became cynical, 2016. So it really kicked off from there. But I don't give a fuck about love. Um, I mean, if you listen to my, my music, that's ever so clear. But this made me cry. I mean damn oh my god i've been in well i mean i've been filming this and i'll probably put a video up about it but i'm afraid to watch the i didn't watch the finale until yesterday because i was just kind of well i was busy i've been learning how to like scream like metal vocals and, and i've been like in the studio and stuff but wait hold on speaking of romance did you see the new matrix that's got to be the funniest shit um I am really excited to watch The Matrix. I've been waiting for that movie to come out for like a year. And I can watch it because I have HBO. Ooh. There's, I mean, is there, rom is there romance? In Not in Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse. We don't have romance. We just get married to procreate. And so somebody can wipe my ass when I'm 80 years old and handle my will. I feel like that's how it is. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for the raid. Brandon, I feel really bad. Okay, let me ask you a question, okay? I'm going to ask you a question. Damn, I rated you during some facts. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really appreciate it. And by the way, Pittsburgh in the house. Hey, do you like this bra? It lights up. I don't know if you can see it. Well, I'm wearing tinsel as well, but... I think I'm, I'm selling more custom pieces. But, oh my god. Let's light up. Right? I mean, it's kind of cool. I fucks with it. And the skirt. Gretchen Wieners. Anyways. So, <laughs> shit. So I do have a question for you, Risa. Here's my question. Um, why were you Team Nate? I'm curious uh, why you were Team Nate. Because, like, I, he, Lord, help us. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I definitely thought he was a sweet guy. Okay. Dude, she said it all. There we go. She said it all. We all have daddy issues. Here's the thing. If somebody... Oh, man. Oh, my God. Was that not what I was saying the whole time I've been in here talking about? First of all, I thought her and Brandon had the perfect connection. He, in every way, gave her... In every way was what she needed, wanted, gave her everything she needed, his actions. I thought he was perfect for her. Her family did, too. She said multiple times i want some, i want what my parents have my parents are best friends i was like that's brandon you know what i mean like that's brandon and i kind of felt like nate was just kind of like hanging out like oh we're, we're here okay i'm uh i don't know if i want to get married and she like had to force him to be on the same page as her like she wanted nate to be on that page but i felt like nate was kind of like a little flaky and very kind very sweet don't get me wrong like very very cute but a lot of the answers that came out of nate just felt like they were rehearsed it felt like nate was just rehearsing these lines like not there was no warmth behind them and even her mother picked up on this shit even her even michelle's mother picked up on the fact that she didn't think nate was ready like it was just kind of, he was like kind of just hanging out chilling and i'm not saying he's like a mean spirited like guy but i just feel like you can't trust him he might not be there and she based on everything she was saying multiple times brandon should have been the right guy now let me let me catch up on what what, what you're saying 
The Kissing Booth movie. I know, I, I've actually seen that, believe it or not. Brandon was perfect on paper, but Nate brought excitement to her life. Yes, but, okay. Um, sorry, I have to hold my nose open to breathe. You know what it is. Brandon was too boring. I thought Brandon was, like, funny and charming and sweet and goofy and nerdy. Also, as someone with commitment issues, Brandon was much scarier to me because he was so sure of her after not knowing her for long at all. That is a good point. Wow. That's sweet Brandon, but actually what my ex did, and it freaks me out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can see, I, I get that. I get that. I, I understand. Yeah, Nate meeting the family thing. No, it didn't go well. I just always kind of thought Nate, like, wasn't, his heart wasn't in it as much, I guess. And some of the things he said, it was just like he was saying what he thought he needed to say or saying what he was supposed to say, but I wasn't sure if he really meant it. He's a sweetie, but definitely seems like a man with one foot out the door. Exactly, yeah. And it's not like, look. Michelle picks who she likes. Michelle should pick who she likes. Like, this is not our love story. This is her story. Like, you know, obviously. But it just blew me away. I've never been more blindsided myself. Like, I hope they're doing counseling. Yeah. Shit, I'm doing counseling. I'm not even... I'm I'm not dating a dangling earring fuckboy. But I'm telling you what right now. If base... I learn quick, right? is in two very long-term serious relationships. The one, I actually, like, really, like, wanted to get married and have kids. Me? Can't believe that was ever me. Have no fucking idea. The next one, the next guy I dated, I feel like it was kind of a situation like this where, and, like, I don't know if anybody's seen older season but a very good season of The Bachelorette, and, like, I haven't watched all of them, obviously, because it's, it's a lot of Beckys and, you know, all that shit, but, um, kind of like the same shit, different day, but there was a season, uh, I was talking about, because this kind of reminded me of it, Andy Dorfman, does anybody remember, brunette, Italian, like, FBI agent, like, total fucking badass, I don't know, she was picking between Nick, Nick Vile, Vale, Nick Vile, who actually did an interview with Brandon, like, two days ago on his podcast, I didn't know he had a podcast, but now I do, is between him and and this guy, tall, charming, athletic, like, ex-football player, kind of gave me fuckboy vibes, but also was like a mama's boy. Her family was like, mm, we don't know how we feel about him, don't pick him, like, you, you're used to dating athletes and you get fucked over. Yes, this guy's charming, but don't fall for it. And I thought personally, like, Nick was a more trustworthy stand-up guy. She ends up picking Josh. What happens? Not even a year later, Josh turns out to be this psycho, narcissistic, gaslighting. And why do I know this? Because she wrote a whole book about it. She was depressed. Um, and I just don't want that to happen because I feel like these kind of red flags are like... Like for me, I purposefully like force myself if I do... If somebody does give me those red flags or they are like... I'm, we're, we're fucking each other, and you're fucking some random ass other person, one, that's a health hazard, two, it's like, you don't give a fuck, I can't trust you, even though I could be completely in love with you, but I will force myself to exit the situation, you know, because, like, I've learned, I, I'm a sick girl, I suffer with a disease, I have a lot of shit going on, life really hasn't been fair to me, so I'm trying to, like, avoid men in situations like that because like if you say something that is like really fucked up you know and I give people multiple chances but I've I've learned I learned quick like I learned really fucking quick Nate felt um hold on I'm, I'm trying to decode this hold on let me take a breath here real quick ah, oxygen I I don't get any like I don't get any vibes from Brandon that he would have been jealous or like psycho or clingy or anything Nate was very like afraid to like make a fool out of himself and okay is it just me andy season i'm glad you know andy season nick is nick no 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 no, no. i'm not saying i approve of nick at the time nick is look nick didn't turn out to be <laughs> i don't know if he turned into that because andy broke his heart but at the time nick was this nerdy software engineer and i thought at the time he was a better pick for 
her than Josh. I mean, Josh was a nightmare. That man literally, if he, if, if one day we find out that Josh has, like, killed somebody, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's not really a surprise. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, we are now Twitch affiliated. I'm still really new, but as you can see, ooh, look at me. I figured out OBS. Nate doesn't seem like an intentional dick. But I fully could see him hurting her in some way. Yes, exactly. I don't think he... No, he's not intentionally a dick. But he's kind of in his own head and he's selfish. And, like, he wants to go on an adventure. And, like, he's kind of like, oh, I'm here. I'm on The Bachelor. And I'm I'm chilling. And, and now they have a down payment on a house. So I think that'll keep him around for a while. You'd be an idiot not to love Michelle. I don't think he doesn't love Michelle. I think he does love Michelle. I just think that his character is just a little... There's something. There's something with... There's something with Nate. The tattoos, the dangly earring, like, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, for real. And I know. I know. Everyone was super shocked at the Josh versus Nick pick. Wait, were they? Because I was, like, pretty damn sure she was gonna pick Josh. I felt like Josh just, like, swooned the fuck out of her. I don't know when this turned into a bachelorette talk, but I'm, like, really loving this and that you're here. Because I, I never talk about this with anybody. Even though I hate love, like, I low-key watch romantic movies and I watch The Bachelor. So, um, you know, if, if, if it seems like a good season, I'll watch it. But this time around, I thought, it's got to be Brandon. Like, multiple times Michelle has said, my parents are best friends. I want what they have. And that was Brandon. Like, every single thing she... And, like, I even... Looking at, at her eyes, like, while she was with Brandon. Looking at how they interacted... Like, her and Brandon, she was, like, more opened up, more affectionate. I could feel it, you know? And then with Nate, Michelle felt more she didn't trust him. She she seemed more closed off and, like, hid her emotions more. She seemed more quiet with him. Less herself, I guess. It, it did, did anybody else get that from watching? Oh, my God, yeah, dude. Nick on The Bachelor was, that's, that's when he turned. He, he literally became a villain, like Nick villain. <laughs> the dangling earring and the double nose piercing has me concerned. I actually, here's the thing, right? Look, I, I'm, I like fashion, okay? That's fucking ever so clear. I have my own fashion line. I make stuff. I, I like to make stuff. I've always loved fashion, so I appreciate a fashionable man. He's gorgeous. I appreciate a unique alternative aesthetic but i'm telling you based off experience a dangling earring and a neck tattoo equates to a red flag uh, for every dangling earring is a red flag okay i hate to say it i really do <laughs> brandon was her best friend they have deep safety but with nate chemistry was electric but chemistry is zero guarantee to last exactly that's why i'm saying like as a woman who has learned, as a smart woman, and Michelle is very smart and she's very strong, I think you should know, okay, yeah, like, I'm really attracted to him. He turns me on. Like, he, but I, that's not what this is about. Like, you know what I mean? Is it that thing where you're like, we would have good kids, we would look good together, so I'm going to pick you? Like, I would really hope that it wouldn't be like that, but me personally, I've learned, and I want to pick the person that, one, helps me, lifts me up, makes me feel good, and that has a good soul. Not somebody that's going to, like, be a liability, cause trouble, or, like, end up breaking my heart, just because they turn me on. Because if that's the case, let's just have sex and not date. You know what I mean? Let's just uh, let it be what it, what it is. And if that were me... I would have cut it off with Nate because then he'll always be like, oh, yeah, I kind of, you know, he might sometimes like once a month jack off to me or something, you know, but this is so fucked. I have no chance. I'm too weird. I think, you know, just like, thank God, because my family kept checking in on me. My friends mm -hmm. kept checking in on me. He's so, he's so fucking cute. He's like the cute, he's the cutest guy I think that's ever like. Everything he says here is, like, really, ma it's just so mature. Slide into any DMs, like, and also, too, I feel like I'm too much of a weirdo, like, to, you know what I mean? I'm a weirdo. I mean, clearly, I have to, like, hold my nose open and breathe. Like, a dating show like that, have you ever pictured yourself being on a dating show like that at all? 
because I I'm literally so weird out that the they would be like wow bachelor's really getting interesting you know what I mean I don't know there could be a bachelor bachelorette for like weirdos you know like bachelor the alt version or I don't know you know what it's not confused she picked the guy she wanted to pick she had her reasons you know maybe she needed to, whatever exactly but still it's like I fear that what might happen with there was a contestant her name was like Andy Dorfman or something I remember being like little and watching this her name was Andy Dorfman and she was the bachelorette dark hair exotic Italian super dope badass woman she was like a cop or something i don't know private detective who knows and then it was between nick who actually was interviewing him on that podcast it was between nick and this tall charming kind of fuck boy but seemed like down to earth like old school mama mama side boy i think his name was josh or something and so it was between Nick and Josh. That would that would suck. Like I don't think that I don't know that that's gonna happen. But that's not good. That's not gonna end up well. Final three. Like it's it's. I don't know about you, but for me it was just like it's easier to, uh, like accept this crazy world you decide to be a part of. Like hey, I don't know. It's weird. It's fucking like there's ten dudes. Like Dude. we're on a date. Like whatever. But down to three, it gets more real. And like you see the end. That's when you. That's when. That's when everyone, like Joe said it best. We went from like bros to foes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because everyone's starting to have this even more intense, intimate connection with Michelle. And then, you know, so honestly, honestly, I dealt with it. I dealt with it as soon as I left Minnesota. I realized that all the guys on the show are telling me to focus on my own relationship. They're saying, hey, focus on your own relationship. Focus on you know, your own talks with Michelle, focus on all that. And I realized that was the biggest lie that anyone's told me on the show. Because focusing on your relationship doesn't help you at all. It just numbs the pain from everything else that's going on. That what makes do you mean? sense. What do you mean? Focus on, because you gotta understand that if you wanna be with that person in this setting, you gotta learn to understand to put yourself in their shoes. So you gotta understand that I know she's gonna have a great time with Nate. I know she's gonna have a great time with Joe. I know she's gonna have a great time with me. I'm not gonna just focus on me. Cause as you've seen, like I saw Nate kind of getting in his head a little bit at the end. Cause he was like, dude, I did not know that Michelle was having these connections with these people. Like when the fireworks went off. He was like, yeah, I didn't know we were yeah. having this connection. See, I dealt with that already. And so... You, you were prepared for that. I was prepared for that because it's fantasy suites. We all know what that means. <laughs> if you get a key, you know, it might lead to something. It might not. I mean... Like, what does it mean? I'm not going to... I don't want guys to think it's like this. Or at least I don't think it... It's like it sucks like that it's a competition. Because it's really not. It's just about, like, who's your person... And, like, who's the right one for you? It's uh, Is that a competition? I don't... Yeah, is that a competition? I don't know. Straight up, like, some of the... There were, there were some really f***ed up characters on this season. Like, oh, God. I can't even think of their names. I, why would I know their names? Um, one of them is going to be The Bachelor after this. I don't know. Like, am I going to slide into his DMs? No, I'm not going to but yeah i was like really fucking blown away by this shit also i guess since michelle didn't pick him and i just thought he was like better for her i was like well what is it then like is it because nate is like super tall and he's got the fucking dangling earring and the tattoos like is it at the end of the day is it about i don't i don't like to think this way because it's not like that for me but at the end of the day is it oh we would have like really good looking kids so that's why i'm gonna pick you or we would like make a cute couple so that's why i'm gonna pick you you know you you have tattoos and a dangling earring you're more mysterious you might run away i don't know like this is so stupid it's just like i don't i guess i learned quickly like just because not necessarily he can't commit but i'd be trusted like you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're seeing each other, we're sleeping together, 
and you're sleeping with some random ass girl you don't even know who could have lord god knows what and then you're gonna come back and say i don't think so buddy because at that point it's a fucking health hazard and you clearly don't give a fuck and you're selfish it's like yeah like i don't fall for that shit like the things the qualities like even the smallest quality um that shows me that they might be selfish or not trustworthy i run away like if you say something that i think is seriously fucked up i run away like i don't I'm not like, ooh, I can change him. Ooh, I like broken men. He might, he might like break my heart. When, no, that like, I'm not attracted to that. That's like a, that's like literally signing a contract to like, yeah, sure. And like, one year and five months, uh, somebody's gonna come break your leg. Sure, sounds good to me. Let me just sign right here. Sure. Why would you sign up for that? I don't know. It's like picking a guy that could. He has shady character. You know, he might like you. He might really, really like... I really like you, though. Like, well, okay. Yeah, just because you really like me doesn't mean I can fucking trust you. I don't know. I guess we'll see. It takes a long time. But, like, I just always wonder. Because, like, when you're younger, you're like, oh, we'd have cute kids. Like, I would pick him. We'd have cute kids. Um, It's not like that now. Because that's not a factor in why I choose people. Because they have, like, a fucking... That's... Yeah, that's not a factor. Um, for me, it's more or less like who treats me well and who can help and add to my life rather than cause problems and take away from it. But I think a lot of the time I end up feeling like anxious and insecure in relationships because you just can't fucking trust people. But when you have a guy like this, it's like, why wouldn't you pick him? I, I don't know. Again, it makes me think, oh, why? Because Nate's taller. He has the fucking tattoos, the dangling earring, like the fuck like, it has to check all the bases any of those things on their own isn't good enough to be that's true i mean that is true i'd like to think not so there's so much that happens you know that wasn't on the screen and everything like that you mentioned so, that at afr again yeah. what what are some things that you wish finding her in the hallway and just going up to her and holding her and letting her know like yo you look beautiful to, and like those small little sure. things small little details um yeah so i dealt with that and that helped me because i realized like that's why I said at the end, like, your happiness. That's why I knew I loved Michelle, because I realized, like, wow, I've never put someone above me in my life before. Usually, I try to look as equal, but talking to her parents and seeing their successful marriage, like, realize, like, you got to put them first. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to put myself in her shoes. Dude, I, that was, yeah, I, <sighs> I was, yeah, I mean, that be laying on my hand and usually, you know, I'd run away or anything like that. But at that moment, I was like, what can I do? You know, like, I I could care. The last thing I could care about is that be. But it was. Oh, man. So, woo. Love la what is love language, though? I mean, like, he says things that I like. Like, I like the things he says to me. I like his ideas. Or is it like he knows how to f me, like, or he knows, he knows how to, like, he'll turn me on, you know? I, this kind of shit turns me on. I don't know. And I'm, for the most part, asexual. Like, I don't. Asexual. No sexual. Very, I mean, I have needs, but like, part human, I guess. <laughs> Man. I don't know. I, you, you'd really have to compare the two, because it's, it, it's night and day. That's why this is so... I'm not joking. This is the most confused, I think. You know what? It's not confused. She picked the guy she wanted to pick. She had her reasons, you know? Maybe she needed... To, whatever. Exactly. Is there romance? Is there romance in the Matrix? I highly doubt it. There's something with in a neck tattoo equates to a red flag. 
for every dangling earring is a red flag, okay? I hate to say it, I really do. Okay, oof, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, with peace and love, with peace and... <laughs> Damn, I appreciate, no, I really appreciate it. I... Is music your life? Make well, it yes. your